to me of painting is like theater because you go into the theater and you're, you're not gonna question the illusion that they're feeding you. You want to enjoy your experience. <laughs> so you wanna believe it, but you know that it's a construction. I think for me it's more like ballet performances where you see a scrim comes down and all of a sudden it's nighttime. And then, you know, the snowflakes come down and but while I'm in the theater for those two hours, I believe that illusion. I want to believe it, otherwise I won't enjoy my experience. So I'll start with the Western Sun right here, which was sort of like a very appropriate emblem for the show uh, because they're all based on the West Coast um, light and West Coast sky. I wanted it to be very literally a, a painting of the sun. So you all, <laughs> know that when the sun is setting on the west coast especially in southern california sometimes you get like very crimson clouds covering the sun and uh, there are a lot of like different light plays that happen on the sun itself so that painting is made on uh, raw canvas and it's a kind of a stain technique and if you know a little bit about modernist art history that that was a kind of like a a trope that was used by Helen Frankenthaler and Morris Lewis, people that were like pouring paint and staining. So um, to me, it's a playful thing to, to take that technique and turn it into a, a picture of the sun. This work I think might be a little bit more ambiguous. Um, this one is called La Jolla Shores. So here you see the illusion of the sky and the expanse is larger on the right. Um, just so it's clear that they're different pictures put together, um, kind of like a play of zooming in and zooming out. All of the metal elements are meant to behave as a sort of like a glint of the light in the painting. So you, you might know when you're driving and you see the sun setting on the other side of the sky, you see glints of metal in the landscape. This one is the newest, and that one is the most risky um, because you don't see any gradient. It did start out as a gradient on the right, and then I thought, no, it just needs to be one color on the right and one color on the left. And that was a big risk that led, left me very vulnerable for <laughs> a few days. Actually, I felt kind of vulnerable putting it in the show, but I, I, I knew that I found it interesting. Its title is in Italian, uh, Cielo, because actually I thought of it when I was in Italy. The one in the entrance is also less daring. So I guess if you're asking yourself, what does she mean by daring? As a painter, we always have this impulse to make things look like they're technically difficult to achieve. <laughs> so like, how did she do that? Or how do you get it to look like clouds? And you know, how does it, how does she make it look like light? Um, so here, I, I'm not relying on any contrast of light and dark, and I'm not relying on any brush work necessarily, although I wanted it to look very flat. Um, so it's like pure illusion of sky without any painterly bravado. The two over here are two oil paintings, and I've been experimenting with those because sometimes I do get a craving to just paint a picture at an easel, and um, they do end up looking a lot like the other paintings, but the process is different because you have a traditional palette. Um, normally with the large works, I work on the floor and I'm building things and moving things around, but with the oil paintings, I work at an easel, and um, the process is like the cartoons where you have the palette, and they take a, lo a lot longer. That one took actually a year because I had to keep layering it to get the, the same kind of smooth effect that I can get with acrylic. The two works in the back, there's one that has a sculptural element. That started out as an accident, actually. I started doing these scroll paintings and then I Googled uh, sky scroll and I found that it was a biblical passage about um, the heavens opening up and the sky peeled back like a scroll. So, so I thought, oh my God, I've been painting these biblical paintings. <laughs> and the same thing with the split. So the red split is another religious 
quote from the Quran, and it's about the sky turning ox blood red and splitting open. And to me, the, the drama of that image is so powerful, and I just kind of imagine this red sky and um, the terror of the sky splitting. It has a very different mood from these works that are more based on imitation of nature. The, the red one is more of like a psychological color, what you imagine more than what you would see. I always feel like in the studio, I don't feel like I have a gender really, but I did grow up in an Italian household with very clear gender roles. <laughs> so maybe this is like my freedom is in the studio where I don't have to um, be a certain way.